ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside you. Opening round scheduled for 10. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. Wow, look at that. Training shots. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Ring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Butterbean's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Butterbean's left now getting into the mix. So accurate and powerful is Joe Frazier with that hook. This is the best of Joe Frazier we can see right now. A Joe Frazier who makes a mistake, who nearly goes down, but survives. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Last 10 seconds of this first round. There you go. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question, Joe. He's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to be... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck at moments. Frazier's trying to survive this. He is taking a beating right now. That one good shot came in and rocked him. And that's the problem with his defense right now. You know, he's trying to block those shots. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Vladimir Klitschko's getting back to basic. A good solid jab. A well-placed left hand up top. Good doubling up of the jab by Evander Holyfield. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. And he just holds on there. Halfway through round number one. targeted jab that time and that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside like something that. to keep Just you away like from that. your opponent good step back counter punch there beautiful the left hand coming into play by vladimir klitschko good flush shot upstairs Away, it was targeted. 
substituted for his head. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Vladimir Klitschko is showing off it. He's doubling up on it. Good job. more than one punch at a time. This is a heavyweight fighter in Vladimir Klitschko that's willing to work. Holy Fields doing well here with that two-punch combination. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by Vladimir Klitschko. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight, typically the win. And from long range, he's able to get his target he wanted. And when you have somebody throwing long punches, what you don't want to do is what he did. Pull back straight. with the right. Many of these Vladimir Klitschko title defenses have looked much the same, be it Sultan of Ragamoff or Tony Thompson or Shigaev or Eddie Chambers. It all follows the same structure. Yeah, well, he controls range. He understands, you know, he reminds me of Clint Eastwood a little bit in the Dirty Harry movies where he says a man must know his limitations. You know, he understands his strengths, but he knows his limitations. He's not an inside fight. He doesn't deal with pressure on the inside, so he keeps you on the outside. He uses that long range. He uses that jab to control you, and then he looks to hit you with the right hand. He lets you take the chances, and then he looks to catch you coming in. And we come to the end of round number two. Holy Fields' defensive flaws in that last round were very, very costly. He's not doing a good enough job of simply protecting himself. No, I'm not sure that he knows how. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Accurate jab brings the right hand. What an impact that left hand just made by Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just a faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. 